Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, for today's today's video, I really want to do a chit chat, a get ready with me uh, type of video. Um, I want to talk to you guys about a little bit my work, what I do for a living. Um, I got a lot of questions um, and so I decided to combine the two of them and just so a little bit of my daily routine, what I do for my makeup and then also talk to you guys about uh, my work as a nurse. So if you guys are interested, let's keep watching. So yeah, let's get ready, shall we? I already um, prepped my skin, I put some uh, cream, moisturizing cream on, no primer today, I don't want to do that. Um, I have been using, as you guys saw the last video, uh, the moisturizing cream from Charlotte Tilbury and I like it a lot and I think you can also use it as a primer so it's not just a moisturizing cream so that's why I thought for today no primer. Uh, that's my second video without makeup I think I don't want to scare you guys <laughs> and, and I also want to make you a little bit more close to me so you guys can see my face and how I do my makeup. So it's much better right? Yeah I think so. Uh, I check here because I do have a mirror. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you see that right now. Perfect. Yes. Um, yeah, for foundation, I have been trying a new foundation, uh, and that is the NARS uh, Sheer Glow in the color Barcelona. This one. A lot of people have been raving so much about this product, and I do like it a lot. It's a Sheer Glow foundation, but to be honest, it's a little bit more like medium car like medium full coverage foundation i don't feel that much glow but i do like it i feel like this one is so beautiful so, and the color is also perfect for my skin tone and my husband it's so cute he bought me for as a christmas present all the brushes from jacqueline hill with he with her uh, morphe collaboration uh, and they all look like this are white so beautiful right white with a silver color and they are amazing. I have been using almost all of the pencils that I have right here and I love every single one of them. So I'm so grateful my husband bought them to me for my Christmas. Yeah, so let's get started, shall we? So I'm just using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush JH03. It's like a very like, typical foundation brush. And I'm just applying my foundation right now. So now I'm going to tell you guys about what I do for a living. So, ah, and another thing, all the things that I'll be using right now, I'll be linked down below, in the box down below. So if I'm not mentioning every single um, one product that I have here, uh, it will be listed down below. So don't, don't worry, because maybe when I'm talking, then I forget to talk about the product that I'm using. Uh, so yes, um, I am a registered nurse. Uh, I was, it's like this, it's a little bit complicated. Um, I was, after graduation in Italy, at 19 years old, yeah, 19 I was, um, I really uh, wanted to do something really uh, important for my life. Um, and I knew that I wanted to work with people. So, but in Italy, it's a little bit difficult uh, with studies and stuff. Um, to come to get into like uh, medicine schools or um, dentist school or nursing school you don't have a lot of um, space they have like limited um, seats for the students and you do have you do have to do a lot of tests um, and because I am half Swedish and half Italian I have like double nationality um, so um, my mom said to me why you don't try to go into nursing school in Sweden and I thought why not you know because anyway I didn't want to stay in Italy I did want to explore the world and I already knew Swedish because my mom always taught me Swedish and also my grandma what my grandma was living with us um, so then I thought why I don't do that so I applied to different schools in different university in um, in Sweden, and then um, I had to do first like a course because it's like this in Sweden you have to know Swedish in a, a school level level. Of course I could speak 
perfect Swedish and I could also um, um, read and stuff, but I didn't attend school for Swedish. And they do need, um, you do need to do a test that says you uh, have been approved, you can speak Swedish, and now you can apply to university. So I did that first um, three months in Stockholm. And then when I was done with that, um, I moved to north of Sweden to study nursing. So I studied nursing three years. And then after my three years, I, um, I was done with my bachelor and I began to work in the um, uh, neuro ICU, uh, like a neurosurgery intensive care uh, place and that worked for approximately seven years. I love my job. It was like the one of the best working places I've ever been to. It was like amazing. I had my pre apprenticeship when I was in my first year uh, of nursing and then when I was finished and with my bachelor I, I felt like I have to go back there because it's like the best place ever. Like the, the team is amazing, the work is beautiful and you just learn a lot and I'm so grateful I had the experience and I had to meet such amazing people. Um, yeah, it was just beautiful. Um, then after, also when I was like working, um, I did also my master in nursing uh, because my plan was to um, work more independent and work in a health and care, like community health clinic. Um, but then, you know, I met my husband, my husband is Swiss. So then I moved to Switzerland. So now I'm done with the foundation and it's pretty good. You see it like with my color, I really, I feel like it fits really good my skin. So then I'm gonna take some concealer and I'm using, I think, ooh, I don't know if I should, should do the Huda Beauty. Um, the Overture goes to the Tarte. I think I'm going with Tarte today. Uh, so yeah, so then was not the plan, but I met my husband and then I moved to Switzerland and I love it here. I love Switzerland. I feel like it's such a beautiful place. And uh, at the beginning, you know, I couldn't speak German at all. Um, I have been studying Germany, um, uh, German, sorry, <laughs> German in high school. But it was a very long time ago, so I don't really remember a lot, like very, very little. Um, and that was kind of sad because in school I was one of the best students in Germany and in German. And then, you know, you forget everything. When you don't speak German every day, you know, English, you, you see you see it every way. In Sweden, you know, every movie is in English, so you have just under title in um, in Swedish. So you do hear like people speaking English every day, but German you never hear it like never So for me it was very dif difficult at the beginning, but I got a job immediately Also if I couldn't speak that good and I started working in an um, orthopedic word word and this I did for almost like I think it was 10 months, but I Didn't like it that much <laughs> You know, it was not for me um, you know, if you work in an ICU and then you may understand, you know, first you're in an ICU place and then you're back in a normal world. It's like a totally different world and it, it was not for me. I, I was not that interested in the diagnosis and the, and the different operation. Like it really, it was just hard and it was also hard because of the language, because I didn't understood. Um, and yeah, it was like really difficult at the beginning. But then I was so lucky because uh, I say to myself, I don't want to go back and work in a neurosurgery ICU because I feel like I will all the time compare uh, how it was in Sweden and how it is right now. And I don't want to do that. So then I thought, what else I want to do with my life? What else I want to work with? And then I, I say to myself, I think I want to work with um, in a recovery room, like after the operation, you know, uh, the people comes in this recovery room um, and there, there you have the monitors and then you see if they're stable, if the pain is okay and they're stable with the blood pressure, uh, how good the breathe and everything, then they can, they can go back to their uh, ward. And this is exactly what I wanted. I felt like if I can't work anymore in a neurosurgery ICU, I really want to work in a recovery room. 
because it's a little bit more um, excitement because um, they're totally different operations um, you don't know how your day will be because sometimes they're really stable patients sometimes you have really unstable patients and was exactly what I wanted I really wanted some challenge in my life and uh, I had the opportunity to meet to uh, to meet the um, res uh, responsible person who was working there and he asked me if I wanted to um, to work there because they had I think they had like two um, places that were like empty um, so then I applied and after like one month he said to me you got the job I was so happy I was so so happy and now I've been working there since uh, July of 2017 so it's almost one and a half year I've been there and the good thing is a lot of people who work there with me are um, international they all come from different countries so we know a lot of different languages and it's like so interesting to talk with them and for me it was also easier to learn the language because everyone has patience and everyone um, helped me um, throughout these months and now I feel like now I understand everything and I talk much much better than before so I developed uh, in this past like two years I've been here and I'm so happy I moved here it was 2016 so it was August 2016 I moved here and now I can actually say that I do understand everything and I can like I can talk with no problem like everyone understands me and that's the the only thing that matters to me <laughs> to be honest now I'm just baking with the um, easy bake from Huda Beauty this is one of my favorite powders together with the Laura Mercier so yeah I got like a lot of questions uh, about um, uh, how it is with night shift like how do you um, combine like night shift and also other shift what do you do to not be that that like um, tired and stuff um, it's like this in Sweden I was working just night shift like 90% just night shift and that was amazing uh, here in Switzerland you cannot do that you cannot have just people who work night shift um, you have to combine everything and in the recovery room you do have a lot of different shifts sometimes you work like um, like um, in the middle shift like between 10 and 19 or 12 and uh, 8.30 p.m. Um, and sometimes you do have like morning like from 8 to um, 5 and then you have evening that's the worst it's like from um, 15 like 3 p.m. until 11 30 p.m. and the night shift goes from um, 11 p.m. in the night until 7 a.m. in the morning or 8 how is it now until 8 a.m. in the morning sorry now I'm confused um, now I'm just doing my eyebrow sorry I, I'm using just my brush from Makeup Forever, the makeup store that a lot of people sell, and the dark brown uh, pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, so yes, um, I, to be honest, do everything. Like, we are just doing a lot of different shifts, uh, but when we do have night shift, we have like between five and six night shifts at the same time. So it's very hard. Like in Sweden, you have a maximum like like five no not even I think it was four four was like a, the maximum you can have and here you have six so the beginning was very hard for me but now like I'm really used to it and to be honest uh, I like it you know um, I try to sleep as much as possible like I try to sleep every day um, if it's like this if I have my first night shift um, and the whole day, you know, you have to uh, prepare yourself for the night shift, right? Um, but I have been sleeping good the day before, we say. We didn't have the night shift the day before. I try to sleep as long as possible. So I try to stay awake until like 1 or 2 in the morning. And then I try to sleep until 12. So then I really feel good. 
what else I will do? I will just take care of myself, like eat healthy, uh, drink a lot of water. And then in the evening, I will try to sleep two more hours just to like relax a little bit then uh, when i have my night shift and then i come home i like literally come home i finish at eight and i i will say i'm at home approximately at nine then at nine i go directly to bed i don't shower nothing i just go to bed and just sleep it through so no alarm nothing and i try to sleep until four sometimes three and then when i go up I shower, I prepare myself, I eat, and I just relax. So I don't go to the gym, I just try to eat um, healthy, like salads. Um, also bread is good, because you need collagrats after all the stuff that you've been working. Uh, because usually our night shifts are not um, slow, they are very, very, with a lot of action. <laughs> Uh, so you do need your collagrats. Um, and then I will just relax, watch some YouTubes, watch some movies, uh, don't clean, don't do stuff like that, just relax. And then in the evening I will do like a face mask, um, drink a lot of tea and water, and then I try to sleep one or two hours before I have to go to work. And this is actually what I do like when I have my night shift. And I feel like this really helps you um, to feel, not feel that um, destroyed after your night shift. What also important is for me, it's face mask. Like I will do literally every day when I have night shift, I will do like a hydrating face mask because I feel like working a lot of night shift makes you look older, makes you look like very tired. So you do need that extra boost of hydration and that's why I think you should really uh, had a lot of like you should really use face mask every day these six days uh, for me I use the jet lag uh, face mask the one from summer Fridays from Mar Mariana Hewitt I love that one and it gave so much hydration and otherwise there is another one it's like the um, sorry these are destroyed now um, the Glam Glow also hydration mask, the one was blue, it's also really good and it smells like coconut so it really makes you feel better and that one for example, the Glam Glow, not the, yeah exactly, the Glam Glow, the hydration mask, I will put on my skin and then go to sleep as a face mask, like overnight face mask. So and then you also sm smell like coconut and it makes you also feel like uh, more relaxed and it's easy also to fall asleep so if you don't have time during the day just put your face mask before go to sleep so this is a good tip for you guys another thing that it's like I think it's important to drink green tea green tea is so good for you with antioxidant and it also has a little bit of caffeine so it gives you an extra boost and another thing water with with lemon Water with lemon, it's so good. It purifies your body, detox your body um, from different toxins. And this I also recommend to do. So, now I did my eyebrows. Let me just <laughs> pump them off. I feel like eyebrows are so difficult and I'm not that good. And of course, I'm not a makeup artist. This is just me doing my makeup. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm just taking off the makeup with another brush from Jaclyn Hill. This one is the Morphe uh, JH08. Looks like this. And I'm just taking away the baking under my eyes. Uh, so yeah, this is actually my life, like what I do. <laughs> and now I'm also, uh, next week I'm also um, starting... Um, Another thing, I'm starting um, my um, to do like an extra work with the, the recovery room. We are also responsible for like um, pain medication, like pain nurse. And um, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be a pain nurse. And next week I will start um, uh, working together with the responsible people of pain nursing. So I'm really excited. Uh, so I have to study a lot right now. I'm just studying uh, as crazy this whole week. Um, like the pain nurse manual. 
and it's very interesting so I can't wait and also you're very independent you work together with the with a doctor and yeah I like it a lot so I can't wait actually to work with that as well yeah so this is exactly what I'm doing if you do have any question just just ask okay just comment down below because I really appreciate when people has and has questions because I'm always here for everyone huh? now I'm gonna do my eyes oh and I don't know which uh, I don't know which palette I should use I have two that are like my favorite right now and I'm gonna show you guys uh, the first one I also received for Christmas my mom gave it to me she's so cute she gave me the Huda Beauty rose gold palette it looks like this it's so beautiful I show you also the colors the colors are just oh I don't want to blend you guys I'm just doing like this they look like this it's like oh, they are just amazing right look at the pigmentation and the color range is like to die for so yeah this one is one of my favorite but then I have another one and the other one I already reviewed but I reviewed that in Swedish because it's a Swedish product this one is the Kaya Cosmetics also my favorite product it's a beautiful girl from Sweden uh, she's a famous um, how you say it she's like a famous um, not actress she's like uh, she do like a lot of pots she is a designer she's a beautiful youtuber blogger blog influencer and um, she also hosting a lot uh, she has her own TV program so she, it's a beautiful person and she's also half Italian half Swedish like me and that's why I love her a little bit extra <laughs> and she came out also with her own cosmetics and her own makeup line and this one is this beautiful palette Kaya Cosmetics and oh, oh my god I don't know which one I should use today um, no guys I think I'm gonna use the Kaya Cosmetics one mm, I think so I'm, I'm just in love with this it's like it's perfection yeah I'm just gonna use this one so the first color I'm going to use is the color Mykonos, the one right here as a transition shade. I'm just going to take my brushes from Morphe, uh, if I found it, yeah, here it is. This one is the JH30, looks like this, just a fluffy brush. Yes, so that's what I'm doing and also... Um, I'm also very interested in um, lip filler and I always been I always been interested in it also in it in Sweden so this is also something I wanna uh, explore in the future and I really wanna be good at it I know a lot of people that can teach me doing it so I literally can't wait uh, this will be my next step and yeah i'm really happy about and i'm also really happy about this year i feel like it's a beautiful year uh, so much exciting things are happening so i'm really happy the next color i'm gonna use is santa theresa the one you see here and then i will put it mix it together with stockholm here and this one the stockholm is one of my favorite shades so first santa theresa just in the crease so sorry maybe you guys can't see that good but yeah I love it they're so creamy and so pigmented these shades it's out of this world that's why right now my favorite palettes are actually these two like Kaya Cosmetics and the Rose and Gold palette from Huda Beauty so these are all stuff I received for Christmas so and when it comes to friends it's also very difficult you know to uh, move a lot because in my years I did move a lot and it's very difficult to be friends and meet a lot of people um, I was very lucky because at work I get got to know a beautiful girl her name is Idona and she's actually one of my best friends 
and she was the, the first person who ever talked to me here in Switzerland <laughs> and she is the kindest soul she's like she gives me a lot of energy she never makes me feel alone and she also just became a mama <laughs> beautiful beautiful little girl and I'm just so happy for her I feel like she's so happy right now she's such in a good place and yeah and thanks to her I also got to meet Sandra who is also one of my best friends here in Switzerland and oh, and we are all three nurses of course <laughs> and that's also very difficult to see each other when all the three of them have all three of us have shifts and stuff but we try to see each other as much as possible so yeah so now just use these three shades so first Mykonos the white one then this one right here Stockholm and Santa Teresa now I'm going into with this color I think it's Tokyo yeah Tokyo is this one and afterwards I'm gonna be using Milan so yeah I'm just no I think I'm not gonna use Tokyo I'm just gonna use this color right here this one is Milan and Paris so these two I'm gonna use so first Milan yeah and soon it's my birthday horrible <laughs> I'm not happy at all I'm like soon I'm 31 it's like where the, where the time goes it's like oh, oh it's possible like I don't understand um, yeah so I will get 31 at the 31st of January and to be honest I didn't plan nothing at all like just on the 30th I'm gonna meet my girls like Sandra and Idona and I'm just gonna eat with them out and just relax because I have two days off um, and on the 31st I'm just gonna do, um, I'm just gonna go to a wellness place and just do like a hydrofacial um, because this I wanted to do after a very very long time and I'm always scared, should I do it, should I not do it and now I'm feeling like yes now you have to do it also because if you're getting 31 you have to do it <laughs> so yeah so I'm doing that and then maybe but just maybe I will do like a pedicure and and that's it actually and then in the evening um, we're just gonna chill I don't know maybe me and my husband are gonna eat out um, we haven't planned nothing we'll see and then in the evening I, I bought I ordered such a beautiful cake that I will show you after in my Instagram so don't forget to uh, follow me on Instagram I have two accounts uh, one with my husband and one alone so I will just post it there my cake that I ordered is so beautiful and I will just invite uh, my husband family to uh, just eat cake and drink coffee <laughs> or tea. Um, yeah, so this is what I want to do. Just enjoy and don't, you know, I'm not the type of person who want to do a lot of stuff on my birthday. I'm not a person who want to hang out or, you know, um, I don't want to go to party like it's not me at all it's never been like that so yeah just relax I don't do nothing serious the brush that I've been using now is the JH37 looks like this and now for the lid I think I'm gonna mm, which color I think I'm using this one this one is London like a shimmery champagne color and for that, I've been using another Morphe brush. This one is the JH41. It's like a flat one. Yeah, and then I'm actually done. So. I do like it like this, like a very natural type of color. So. It looks like this. Very simple. I'm just doing another one. Another. Uh, this one is the Zoeva brush, uh, Smudger Two Two Six. It's a Smudger blush uh, brush, and I'm just gonna put uh, Paris and Milan together, and under my eye. This one like this. So, you 
if you guys have any question at all about my work or other tips that you guys feel like I should give you, please write it down below. Um, but I do enjoy my, my work a lot, this I have to say. I'm a lucky person who had to do, who can, wait. I'm a lucky person who can do um, a job that she really enjoyed doing, so I'm a really, really lucky person. <laughs> so, now I'm done with my Kaya Cosmetics palette, it looks so beautiful, and then I'm just gonna bronze my face and contour it with the JH02, and I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Tantric. One of my favorite bronzer out there. So I do like the pigment of this. I got a lot of compliments on it. I feel like I do like the, the, the other one who smells like coconut as well, but it's always sold out. Now I think it's back in stock, but it was sold out for the longest time and this one works exactly the same. It's just that it doesn't smell coconut. <laughs> so actually, who cares? Um, so yeah, this is beautiful. And then I'm just gonna put some blush. And with the blush brush that I love, this one is the JH04. It like it just comes to the cheek like this. It's like perfect how it's shaped. And the color that I've been using is Peaches from MAC. If I can open it. Beautiful color. And I just put it on the cheeks like this. And I also put a little bit on my nose. I'm obsessed with blush. So I think now it's too much anyway. <laughs> and then for my uh, highlighter, I do use the same one. Like I'm really boring. I just use the same products uh, all the time, but because they're bomb, that's why. This one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Amrezi Collaboration. Most beautiful highlighter of 2018. Most used in my opinion in on me. Like I do, I've been using just two. This one and the, um, what's the name? The Jeffree Star Skin Frost Peach Goddess, I think it was. And the brush is also one of my favorite, JH07. It's a fluffy blush. You do see how beautiful that looks. Yeah, it's just perfection, to be honest. So, and then for my nose, I'm just using my finger, sorry. <laughs> I don't want to use a brush. You do, you can use a brush, but I do prefer my, my um, finger. So, now I'm just going to use a setting spray first. And this one is the one I talked to you guys about yesterday. was the Caudalier Elixir Beauty. Beauty Elixir. Spray on it. Makes your face glow. You have a beautiful scent. Oh, beautiful. You feel so fresh when you spray this on. It's so refreshing, it's incredible. I think I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna use um, eyeliner today. I just don't feel like it. And, and now I'm just using a little bit of mascara. The one is the Subtuous Extreme, um, Extreme Black from Essie Lauder, it's like a, small version and I just put some color on my lashes as you guys may see now I don't use lash extensions anymore I did want to have a break because I feel so bad for my lashes I've been using lash extensions for the past two years now like non-stop and it really takes so much damage so now I'm just trying to grow them as much as possible and I'm just using uh, like extra lashes. Exactly. 
and the one I've been using a lot are the one from Ardell, like Faux Mink, and also the Mykonos Lashes and Miami Lashes from Lily Lashes. So now I'm just putting some glue on and then I'll be right back, okay? So now I apply just the lashes. These one are the Ardell Faux Mink. Exactly, they look like this. Perfect. So now for lips, I'm just gonna use my favorite lip liner, the Kylie Jenner Candy K lip liner. Looks like this. Just gonna overline my lips. This one is my favorite lip liner of all time. Perfect color for my skin tone and just so smooth and velvety consistent easy to apply yeah it looks like this and on top of it I'm just gonna apply stripped or crush I'm just gonna apply oh I don't know if it's enough crush from Anastasia Beverly Hills yeah it's enough it's almost finished. <laughs> mm. What I did now. Yes. I'm gonna put some more uh, setting spray. So. Now I'm done with my makeup look. Do you guys like it? Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. If you like th this video, click a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So don't forget it. Um, if you have any questions, um, just write me down below. I would really, really appreciate it. I wanna see the light.